This video is continued from the last one. We have the same functions f and g we did in the, on the last video. And we found in that video that we, if we compose f and g uh, in these two different ways, f composed g of x equals 1 over x with x greater than 0. F composed, or I'm sorry, g composed f of x equals 1 over absolute value of x with x not equal to 0. And I wanted to show you the graphs so you can see what's going on with the graphs. So these dotted red lines here are asymptotes. So these both have asymptotes. And the graph of F composed G is this. It's a single branch, what we call a branch of a hyperbola. The other branch would be here but we can't have x be negative. So it's just f composed g is just this branch of one of the y equals one over x, the hyperbola. And then this other one, um, the left side, instead of being down here, is flipped up here. So we still have two branches but because of the absolute value, this is flipped up there instead of being down here. It's reflected in the x-axis. Just this branch is reflected. And this is just the same as this, see? So note that the graphs are not the same so these are different functions. So G compose F and F compose G are not the same in this case for these values of F and G. Notes, number one, Y equals the square root of X squared is the absolute value of X with when X is a real number. Two, Y equals square root of X squared is x with x greater than or equal to zero because this is just composition, right? That's because of the square root of x here, x has to be greater than or equal to zero. You figure out the domain before you simplify. So these are very different and they come up frequently. In this problem, they came up in the denominator, but in general, these come up quite often. They're not the same. So number one, the graph y equals absolute value of x looks like that, which we should already know. And number two, y equals x with x greater than or equal to zero is actually a ray. It's half a line, right? It's a ray from the origin. It includes the origin. I should have put an open dot there. A closed dot there, I'm sorry. Let's see. There. Better.